Hey y'all, this is Chael Codes. Uh, this video is all intermediate levels of Reject's crossword, and it's a cut from my Twitch stream. Let's see, so we have UB, or IE, or AW, is our first pattern. Um, and then we have a character set that has not AD, um, and we've got zero or more of that. And the only starting character in our OR here is that a is in not AD and also begins AW, so we know that this one has to be W. Um, here we're kind of seeing were used to separate like sets of characters, and I think that's something that's really helpful and something that um, is kind of nice about regex is that there's a lot of different ways to say something, but they've all kind of done it different ways. So for example, if you want to say this character is going to be in this set of characters, you use square brackets. Um, but with these, these, um, these pipes or ors, um, you can have um, several characters and try to match against those. So for example, um, because this one starts with W, we know this is W, E, L, and it can only match that. Like I can't put an A, L, or um, an A, R in here. Let's see, this one has to start with, or this one has to include um, N, O, T, A, D, and this one has to include T-U-B-E, so T is in both of those, and then O is in both N-O-T-A-D and Morph. <laughs> this one ends in dot, which is, I think, um, oops, hold on, I'm going to try and zoom in really quick. Hopefully that helps. Um, so this is Borf dot. That dot means that it can be any character and our square brackets indicate that it's in a character set, which is how we know that this has to be O, but this L is allowed even though Borf's up there. All right, so I've zoomed in a little bit to help out, to validate. Yay! Got a new achievement. Those are some really cute achievements, by the way. Those would make great enamel pins. Let's see. So this first character has to match B, Q, or W. And then these characters have to match A, W, and E. And we've got one or more of them. So we'll slap a W in there. And then over here, um, all of these characters have to match R, A, and K, or rank. And A is included in that, so I'll include that. Let's see. We've got A, L, P in here. Now, um, we've matched BQW, which means that these two characters are going to have to match this um, capture group, which is the PR or the LE. Let's see. So this one pretty much has to be L, because that's the only one that is in A, L, and P, which is this uh, character set right here. Now, we can have one or more of A, L, and P, um, but when we see this K here, we know that a K has to be included, which means it has to be there. And since we're placing this, let's um, let's check that it matches the other one, which is this character has to fit within R, A, and K. And that's true, so we know we're good. All right, let's see. We've started with L, which means this next one has to be E. Um, when we look over here, we have a capture group with P, R, or E, R, or E, P, right? So we know that it has to be ER or EP because it can't be, it can't start with a P because we've already got an E here. So if we look over here at rank, the only one that's going to match that is ER because that's also included in rank. Awesome. Cool. Time for the next puzzle. Let's see what we have here. We've got a dot, which means any character, and then we've got a dot inside of a capture group, and then we've got a repetition of whatever comes from that first capture group. That's not great for helping us narrow down choices, um, but it should help at some point. Let's see. Let's start at the bottom. So we've got square brackets around the word towel, which means that all three of these characters have to be um, letters from the word towel because our square brackets uh, mean that the character um, is included in that character set. Let's see. Oh, here we have that forward slash. Do you, oh, so 
this is Ruby. She said hello. She just dropped in out of nowhere. <laughs> All right. This forward slash escapes the character. Um, I think dash can be used for ranges, which is why it needs to be escaped. So this one um, would be ty dash, or it would be ry, and then nothing. I think. That's what I think this is saying. Let's see. And this one can be cat, for, or fat. All right. Cool. So this is dot star. This is way one or more, and it includes the letters W-A-Y. Ooh. Oh, wait. This one's helpful. Okay. So we have square brackets around um, the letters in the word RAM, which means that we can look at this and say the end character for cat, four, and fat, the only one that has a letter that ends in RAM is R which means we know for a fat oops, that this one is four. Sweet. So that's the first thing that's kind of helpful. That's great. <laughs> Let's see. I think I've got something else here that may help me. So I'm looking at towel. Um, and when I look at this one, this forms a capture group. And this is a repetition of this capture group which means that this one right here has to be repeated here. So if I look at this, this letter has to be within the word towel. And then if I look at this, R isn't in towel, right? So I know that this has to be T because that's the only one that's going to show up in both of these, right? And I know that it has to show up in both of these. Um, if this starts with T, then this has to be Y, and this has to be dash. Yeah! Look at that. All right, we're making some progress. And that matches with this pattern because uh, this dot right there can be any character, right? Cool. Uh, now we can look at this last one. So this is OH, and O is the only character in that character set that is in both towel and OH, right? Everybody with me? Sweet. Okay, let's look at this one. It still matches this one because we've got dot any character. So this O matches any character. Y can be found in way. So now we've got one more. W can be found in both way and towel. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Whew. The nerves when you click that validate button and it's like a more complicated one. They're very real. They're very real. All right. Let's see. So this one, it has to be in J-U-N-G-N-T because that's our character set. And this means that we've got zero or more of it. And this one has to be within this character set of D, E, and F. Um, D is the only character that's in both. Let's see. Let's keep moving this way. Okay, this one's also helpful. So that up arrow means not right? So the character that fits here cannot be DJ in or U, um, which just so happens to be all the characters that are in junt, but T. So that's handy. Um, the other thing that's handy about this one is this P. So that's not in the character set. So we know that this absolutely has to be a P. Yeah. <laughs> now this last one, um, it has to be within I can, and we've got zero or more of them. So I'm looking at this. In is in both junt and I can. Sweet. All right, let's see. We have narrowed this one down to APA and OP because OLK is not going to match our P right here, right? And let's see. So if we look at this, um, we're now looking at MNO. So this DEF character is done. We don't have a splat and we don't have a plus behind it, which means that we've already matched that. Um, so now we're looking at this MNO and the character that matches MNO and OPI is O. So we know that this one has to be I and we can track that that matches because I is included in I can. Sweet. 
So now we're looking here. So we got M and O and we're trying to match that. And we've only got one out of this capture group that matches that. We kind of know it's N. Let's see. And because that's N, this has to be A. And that matches because after our P, we have another character set that has A, B, C, and A has to be included in that. And then we get to this last one, and we have the option of C or V from this character set. And then this character set limits us to C because C is the only thing in both C, V, and I can. Awesome. Next puzzle. All right, so this first character cannot be N, R, or U. And the reason for that is we have a character set with an up arrow. That means not, right? And then this character has to match runt, or the letters in runt, right? Um, so T is the only one that is not in run and is in runt, right? Uh, splat, as always, means zero or more. Now that we've matched that, um, we know that the next one has to be either no or on, right? And if we look at this one, we see that we've got just a straight zero here that's, un or not a zero, we've got an O here that's unmodified. Um, so we know that that has to be O because this one is O. And if we go back here, we have NO or ON. We know that this one has to be ON. Oh, this is exciting. This is fun. Okay. So if you look, this N falls into our parentheses around a dot. We've seen a lot of parentheses around a dot, but a capture group does not necessarily have to be formed that way. The capture group is just the parentheses. Um, this dot indicates that it can be any character, right? Um, but because we've captured that N and we see this forward slash one, that forward slash one indicates that we're going to repeat that capture group, which means we know that this one has to be an N. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's go back up here. So let's see. We have, this one has to be within the word runt. Um, we have the option of, we can either have D, we can have FU, or we can have UF. Um, this is family friendly. So we're not gonna go with FU, we're gonna go with UF, and also because this U, which is the starting character, um, fits within runt. <laughs> All right. Let me see. So we started off with an O. Now we're looking at um, this dot star. Dot means absolutely any character, symbols, white space, whatever. Star means zero or as many as you want. So I could put this F here just fine. Let's see. By the way, um, this hat right here, um, square brackets defines a character set. And these characters can be H, A, or T. Um, and they're going to have to go here at the end, otherwise we'd just have a blank space. And since we've got this up here that says that all of the characters in this row have to be either N or A, we know that this one has to be A. Awesome. So let's pop back over here. Let's see. So what's nifty about this is that we have our capture group and we have our splat that means zero or more. Um, but then we also have this D, O, we know that those absolutely have to be those characters because they don't have any like square brackets around them or anything like that. They're just straight those characters, which means that these are going to have to match those. What's nifty about this is we can check. So this says that it has to be either F, U, U, F, or D, and then you can have um, one or more of these, but they don't have to be the same ones repeating, right? So we have U, and then we have our F, and then you can also pick a D, right? And it's still part of this same pattern. Sweet. Uh, speaking of which, since we have an O here, and we're looking at this pattern, um, the only pattern here that has an O in it is this FO, right? Which means that this kind of has to be an F. And let's check that that matches. Yep. So we've got dot star, FF matches that. I'm going to put that back. I need to move that. Um, so yeah, our F is going to fit perfectly in that dot star. Let's see. So now this one has to fit. Um, the character that we pull from here has to match the characters in front. R is both in our little um, or capture group here, and it's also in 
run, which is over here. So we know that that's what it is. And now we're at the last one. Sweet. So we have an in, or we have an a, and it has to be within run, so it has to be an in. That validated, right? Yeah. Oh, we're done with intermediate. Okay, we've got 30 seconds before YouTube whisks you away somewhere else, so start furiously clicking. There's a like button, subscribe button, bell icon. Um, I've got links and stuff in the description. Uh, what else? There's social links below me. Ooh, if future Rachel did her job right, there's a video over here. Ooh. Um, what else? Oh, most importantly, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know if we'll ever see each other again, or if you're going to another of my videos. So, aloha.